Hello everyone, I'm Peter aka The Gold Shot, and welcome to Friday Night Gripe! Okay, so, it's Saturday in most places, sorry, sorry, I had a whole hell of a lot of problems with my computer last night, um, so it's a Saturday Night Gripe this week, uh, yeah, and because Windows Movie Maker was being a pest and oh, everything. Okay, so, a few things first. Firstly, um, the picture, the dragon picture, I've got it with it. I just wanted to put something pretty cool, found that awesome, that looks good. So, because I use Windows Movie Maker, and I just record it using the inbuilt, um, sound recorder or voice recorder in my computer through my headset. So, you know, that's cool. Um, so that's that. Uh, secondly, these will, these will no, not longer be, uh, they won't be any longer than 15 minutes because otherwise you can't upload this to YouTube. Sorry, it comes out like that. Um, yeah, references. Um, so that's that. Um, also, the 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 the, the, the four cars for this four car weekend thing I don't know I haven't got a name for it yet um that two weeks ago one that was postponed this week those will be out tomorrow as the Sunday video or Saturday video for you across the pond folks um so that's that uh. Um, yeah, so, oh, yes, done that. Um, I've got a little list of here of things I have to say. Um, so that's, now let's get on to the topic. Okay, tonight's topic is bullying. Okay, and bullying is plain and simple wrong. Okay, and I don't speak because, oh, everybody says that. No, I speak from pure experience. Okay. I've been bullied all my life, okay, throughout primary school and throughout high school. Even going on in high school, I still get bullied because, well, I'm a nice person. They feel threatened because I'm such a nice person. You know, I, I try to be nice, I try to be polite, you know. Um, yeah, uh, how much I've been bullied, you may ask. <laughs> Uh, let's just put it this way, okay? At one point, I was bullied out of a school. There's my example for myself. Okay, so, what is bullying, though, you may ask? Well, a lot of people don't have this concept right, okay? People think, oh, that person has done something hurtful to me. That's bullying. No. Bullying is multiple times over, right? If it's a one-off thing, you know, it's not right. It will never be right. But they may have been having a bad day. And it just may have snapped in them, okay? But if it's a one-time thing, that's not bullying. That's them being a prick. Okay, that's a huge difference. Um, yeah, so... Um... That's that, and the difference between... You, you You may wonder, think, I'm lying that I've been bullied so much, and I still am. Well, there's a difference, okay, because uh, people get affected by bullying a lot, okay? But I know how to deal with it. It... it it's happened to me so much, it does... It genuinely does not affect me. Okay, but... That's not the same for other people, okay? And a lot of people, for so the vast majority of people who have been victims to bullies, uh, they go into this deep, deep, dark place, and they get depressed, and that can lead to so many awful things. They can, they can start self-harm, they can try to kill themselves, and... And that's one thing I've always wondered, you know, for someone who constantly picks on someone else, 
Why are you doing it all the time? Why are you always going, putting your effort into making, into hurting them, you know? I mean, they might not be that great to look at. They may be just a bitch in person. But it doesn't give you the right to hurt them. No. They, they have the right to be sentient and to be alive. You can never take that away from them. It's it's really just a whole opinionative thing where... Sorry, you may have heard that I bet you did. We get a lot of hoons in my street because there's a nice little big spot. Um, yeah, sorry. So back on topic. Um, so let me give you an example. Okay, I, I, knew I had a mate. I still do have a mate. I have lots of mates. But there was this one guy I knew. Okay, we won't name names. I'll just call him Mr. X. And uh, Mr. X was a really, really nice guy. Okay, was I, I'm making it sound like he's dead. He is a nice guy, right? And last year, he, uh, well, he was having a few problems. We, we, we used to play video games, okay, in the school's library. And uh, he, well, <laughs> he had this funny username, right? And um, after we kind of just stopped and our group kind of broke up and didn't do video games in there anymore, well, some, you know, some of the more non-gamers kind of started picking on him, okay? And you could tell that it was really affecting him. And he didn't say anything. Not because he was scared, no. Because he was just such... He, I'm speaking in past tense and it makes me sound terrible in my head. He is just so nice and he didn't want to hurt them, right? And so one day I, I saw him and I was I was actually on crutches that day. And I just went up to him, said, hey, and we had a talk. We uh, Then it, we went along. He was really nice. He just stayed beside me while I was hobbling along. You know, hop along tragedy. Um, and, you know, and then we walked past this group of kids. And he, uh, well, they started calling him this name. And, um, uh, yeah, so he he seemed very agitated by it. And so I kind of hobbled over to this, this well, probably the guy in the centre, you know, the guy that was being loudest. And and, um, and when I say a group of guys, you know, the, the, there were girls in there too. Um, and I kind of said, well, listen, mate, he don't want you to call you that, uh, call him that. He's clearly asked you very nicely. And I'd really suggest that you don't call him that. Now, he thinks he's going to be really smug about it. And he thinks, this kid's on crutches. What the hell is he going to do? Yeah, well, as it turns out, when you push me on crutches, I retaliate. I didn't do anything violent. No, I not at all. I didn't put my hands on him. I didn't touch him. Okay. I just got near him. I got very close to him. Like, so much so I could feel the heat of his breath on my neck. Because, well, he's shorter than me. I'm six foot two. Anyway, that's beside the point. And he, I could sense he was about to attack me. But a teacher came and, you know, I kind of broke it up. And Mr. X said... Or Peter, uh, sometimes you can't fight other people's fights for them. I wasn't trying to fight it. Well, I kind of was. I wasn't trying to fight his fight. I was trying to help him. I was trying to help my friend, right? And so everything just went on. But, 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 this story, this, this true story, that this has an ending that is so good, okay? No, those kids didn't get justice served to them. No, they didn't get a detention or whatever. 
right? But for me, that is one of the teachers must have said, had I talked to them, okay? And the next term, he came up to me one day, and he says, thank you, Peter. Thank you for helping me back there on that day. They're not doing it anymore. And you know what? That made me feel so great, you know? And that that's, that's my question, okay? This is the true and main point about why I picked this topic, okay? If you've listened through to this point, thank you, okay? Because this is a very important topic to me, right? And what I want to know from you, okay? If you were to see someone you knew, or even if you didn't know them, right, and they were being teased, and, you know, and you saw this every day for about a week, okay, and then one day, it was just this group of kids, maybe three, four of them, and this one person, okay, and you were walking past, and no one else was around, what would you do? And before you go ahead to the comments and answer, okay, be honest. If you would have said you'd run away, then that is so fine. You you can run away. It it it's not my place to say. Okay, but I just wanna know your opinion. I know wanna know what you would do. Okay, I want to know where people stand on this. If you would have joined in, you know, that's pretty wrong, but I'm not going to judge you for that. Okay? That just might be who you are. But thank you. Thank you. Anyway, I am, that was my gripe. Bullying, don't do it. Shake my finger here. No, no, no. Hope you like the dragony picture. It's like a nice bit of eye candy. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so bullying is well very important and uh yeah so that's about it for this uh friday night group i hope you like it i hope you like it i hope you liked it except it was on a saturday night saturday night live um so yeah thank you for listening the videos will be out tomorrow both of them two i'm gonna split it into two because two because i'm lazy But, no, I'm not lazy. I want to give you the full experience, don't I? That's my excuse. Okay, thank you for listening. Have a great Saturday night. Best day of the week. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.